Definitely don't want to overshoot that. Oh, looks like he did. We'll, uh, we'll take the lead, see if he can't, see if he follows behind us. There we go. Little Tim's with the TUS. I'm so okay with this. Quick flick back. Ah, too much on the grass. So he's, uh, he's trying to run tandems with me right now, so this is sweet. Ooh, just a little grass drop. There we go. All right, so this is uh, definitely a lot of fun. Did not expect this to be going on right now. To uh, have one of the other TUS guys and another ESDA car in the mix. That might be too much. That was a little bit too much, but be able to come up, somewhat correct it. And get back on track. right there so we were able to get on his door and he, oh just a little love it's all right oh no too much of a tap is he gonna wait oh no he ain't gonna wait <laughs> oh just a tap sorry man little uh Camaro tandems. I'd like to be a little bit closer on him right now. I don't want to hit those tires. I don't want to lose this. Because if I don't stay with him, I'll probably end up losing him. I probably should have been up in fourth, but uh, I'm going to stay in third. So, this car, I think, handles so much better with the force feedback than it did when I was trying to qualify an ESDA. Oh. oh, he's got a ESDA on his door. Oh boy, so we got two ESDA cars going on right now. Hello everybody, I'm Evil Rabbit. We are here staring at a Forza Edition style Camaro. If you guys liked the beginning video, this is kind of where it all started back when I was in Forza Motorsports and we were doing some random tandems and ended up tandeming as a member of TUS. That's where it all started. It all started in this car, joining up with TUS, going into ESDA and everything like that. It all started from that initial real clip with uh, randomly tandeming with 
a usual suspects member. So today we're going to be ripping this thing here on Lime Rock where we did initially where this all started. But now we're in a seto and we're a little less shaky. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. All of which are found in the description box below. Let's do it. So the view in this car is actually pretty terrible. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty bad. That pillar is quite big. And it's really hard to see. Now we weren't driving in first person back in the Forza days. So this is totally different, of course. Hard entry. Oh, kind of settled it in the lock. There we go. Now, I did find this car on a random whim in a car pack, and I thought it would be sweet to come back and reminisce driving this car, because this is the car that I started in ESDA with back on Forza, and now we're here in ESDA in Assetto Corsa driving the E36, but this car was definitely so much fun in that game, and kind of uh, liking how this thing's driving right now. Of course, back then, we also were on the G920 with the uh, mint green and neochrome wheel. The custom handbrake setup and everything like that on my old wooden rigs. And now we're rocking, oh boy, full Mazda equipment and a next level chassis. Big thank you, of course, to Mazda Racing and Next Level for making this setup dream to become a reality. Oh, that's too much. We're in the dirt. Oh, man. No. <laughs> so this car is a lot of fun, and I'm half tempted to uh, possibly find out if I can work with this car and maybe do a full rebuild in the inside of it and kind of make this into a newer style comp car just because the flashback of Reminisce may also need to make myself a uh, FC RX-7 if you guys remember back in the was it is also a uh, drift competition called SSR uh, street racing or SRS sorry, not SRS <laughs> SSR so we were in um, another street series and we actually went into a couple battles and won some won some battles in that street series and uh, definitely going to be looking for some more seating series and stuff like that here in the near future just to progress my competitive drifting a little bit better. This car's actually a lot of fun. <laughs> All right, we're going to try and throw a... We're going to try and uh, get this initiation down. Start it before the line. Downshift. Flick it. Oh, too much on the brake. Not enough steering angle. <laughs> Not enough steering angle in this car. Unfortunately, oh geez, but I just thought it would be fun to come back and reminisce if you guys remember and were a part of the channel back when I was drifting with TUS and all of them and you know having that old Camaro Let me know down in the comments if you guys have been here for that because I'm very curious to see who's still still around from back in those days so just a little quick uh, reminisce video. Got a lot of big things coming here to the channel. Uh, ESDA season is winding down. We have one more round uh, left. For those who uh, did not check my Instagram post, I did end up getting an 86 in my qualify, 86.2 in my qualifying run. I needed an 89 to qualify. So we were just on the outside of the 32, but it was an extremely good round because. I uh, did not have any nerves. The nerves were not really there. I was able to throw it down. If I wouldn't have dropped a tire in the two sections, then I probably would have been able to qualify. Uh, so the nerves were a lot less there for this round, and I felt a lot more comfortable. This R5 feels really good. So just a reminisce video, bringing back to where it all started, to where it is now. Like I said, I got a lot of things coming with the new cars and some new content, some new things coming. I got some... Uh, new stuff with the wheel setup and everything on the way too so make sure you guys do follow me and if you guys like this video and you guys want to keep following me make sure you tap that like button and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber i do appreciate all the support and as always i'd like to thank you guys for coming back i'm evil rabbit i'll see you
on the track. <laughs>